Um, my name is Amy Burns, and I am a kindergarten teacher at School 51, James Russell Lowell, uh, which is Indianapolis Public Schools. And um, our school is an urban school, and we have about 575 students at our school. Um, we are a universal feed school, and we have about 60% African American students, about 35% Hispanic, 3% uh, uh, Caucasian, and about 3% multiracial. My lesson today is going to be um, problem solving and having the students breaking apart numbers, decomposing numbers, um, to find multiple partners of the numbers, um, and being able to rec record their equations or expressions for um, the numbers that they're breaking apart. So um, my expectation at the end of the lesson is that the students will be able to um, be given a number and find all the different partners that can go with that number and record the equations. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to review something that we've talked about before. We've been working on breaking apart numbers and finding all the different partners that we can solve with this. So what number do I have up here? Six. So let's count to make sure that I was correct in getting six of them out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so if I want to find all the partners of six, I'm going to move my six counters up here, okay? And I've got my break apart <laughs> stick. One way that I could do it would be to put my break apart stick after the first one. So can you flash me now how many or what are the partners of six here? We have... One. one and five. So if I wanted to move my break apart stick over one more spot, are these partners of six? Yes. Yes. Do I still have six up here? Yes. So flash me what these partners are. Two, Two and four. four. Good. Can I make another partner? Yes. What would I need to do next? Move my break apart stick over one more spot, right? So now, what are the partners of six here? Three. Three and three. three. Very good. Is there still another partner that I could make? Yes. Yes. Who can raise your hand and tell me what I would need to do next? Xavier? Move the stick over one more. Very good. Move my stick over one more. So now, do I have another partner of six up here? Yes. Yes. Flash me what this partner is. Four and two. Very good. Can I still find another partner, Talana? I need to move it over one more, don't I? So let's see what this partner of six would be. Okay, do I still have six up here? Yes. How do you know? Who can prove that to me? Tavion? Oh, he said, because I have five over here and one here, and you guys know that five and one make six. Very good. So flash me these partners. Ready? Five, five and one. one. Could I make one more partner? No. No. No? Who thinks you could? Patrice? What could I do? Edward? Add another one. What do you mean by add another one? If I added another red counter, would I still have six? Yeah. No. No, I would end up with seven, right? Could I move my stick over one more spot? No. Yes. I could, right? What would this partner be then? Six. Six and one. Zero. zero, right? Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do today is when we go back to our seats, you guys, I'm going to call a table up at a time. You'll come over to me. You're going to get your tray. You're going to get your bookshelf, your work mat, and your drawing board, okay? Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is you guys have some math tools in front of you, okay? One math tool is your drawing board, okay? Another math tool would be your bookshelf, right, your work mat, okay? Another math tool are your bears, right? Okay, and we don't eat our math tools, okay? We use our math tools to learn. When we're done, then you get to eat your math tool, okay? 
But we have to have our math tools first so that we can solve our problems. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Put your cap on. The first thing we're going to do is work with um, some numbers. And we're going to solve some problems. And what you have to listen for is to pick out, when I give you the problem, you guys have to pick out the important information. Okay. So I'm going to give you a story about something. And you have to listen very carefully to find out what I'm asking you. Then you will pick, pick up your gummy bears, and you're going to put them on your work mat. Okay. So listen to this. My mom loves gummy bears. So she asked me to go to the store last night. And she said, Mrs. Burns, can you please get me some gummy bears? I said, sure, Mom. She said, I want five gummy bears. OK, so what do you need to do? Five. Write your five. And then you need to count out how many bears? Five. five. So write your five and then go ahead and count out your five bears. Put them on your, on your drawing board. Put them onto your drawing board first, please. Now, what we're going to do with our five bears is I want us to come up with all the different ways that you could sort these bears on the bookshelf. Because when I got home, my mom said, well, thanks for getting me the bears, but now you need to put them away. And now my mom wants me to put the bears on the shelves in the kitchen. Okay? And I have two shelves that I can put my bears on. Okay? I only have two. So I want you to first, I'm going to do one with you, okay? And I want you to put your bears just like mine. And we're going to be finding all the different ways that we can put our bears away in the shelf. So I want you to start out first with your shelves looking like mine. Okay, can you make yours look like mine? Okay, very good. Who can tell me how did I put my bears up on my shelf? Xavier. I put one on the top and four at the bottom. Very good. Janaya, can you help me figure out how would I write an equation now to show what um, you put on here? Can you tell me how you would write an equation? Okay, good. Can you show us how you would write that? Good. Now, I see you wrote 1 and 4, but if I looked at that, it, I see 14. So how could you make that look like an equation there? And what does that equal? Very good. So can you write your five? Excellent job. Now, Janaya, could you bring your um, drawing board up here for me, please? And I want you to share with everybody how you wrote your equation. I wrote five equals plus four equals five. Very good. You wrote five. You wrote your one here, right? Because how many bears were on that top bookshelf? One, right? There was one bear up here. So she wrote one. Then she wrote the plus sign. Everybody make the plus sign with your hands, please. Plus. When you're joining things together, you're going to add them. So she wrote her plus sign here. How many bears did we have on the bottom shelf? Four. four. So then Janaya wrote her four. And she knew that we had five all together, so it equals five. When we have equals, what does equals mean? We have the same amount on both sides, right? So one and four are partners of five. 
So now, what I would like for you to do is you're going to work with your partner to come up with all the different ways. And you need to write them on your drawing board just like Janiyah did to come up with all the different ways to make the partners of five. So I want you to turn and work with your partners and work together. You need to ask each other questions like, how do you know that two and three are a partner? How do you know one and four are partners? Okay, so turn and talk to your partners, and I want to see you start making all the different pairs of five. Go ahead. Okay, so very good. So can you write it? Good. Now, is there another way that we could make partners? Oh, very good. I didn't think of that. Now, can you show me how you would write an equation? Good. And how did you know that was a two here and a three here? How did you know to put a two here? You're right. You have how many there? Two and three. So what does two and three equal? Equals. Good. See if you can find another way to make a partner of five. Can you make it another way? Oh, I like what you're doing. You're making a math drawing, aren't you? So can you show me, what, what did you do here? Oh. Can I show everybody this? Would you like to come share? Okay. I'm going to show you guys something because Edward did something that I didn't even think of. And this was another way that he could show partners. I'm so glad that you're here today because I didn't even think of this. Okay, let's look and see what he did. Okay, come on up, Edward. Okay, Edward, what did you use to show your partners? Right here, and, and plus five e equals equals five. Good. Then, then I put one right here, and I put one, three, four. And I put four right here, and it, and it, and it plus five. E yeah, and then we want to make equals. this one an equal. But what does it equal then? Very good. So take a look what Edward did. This is still another way that you could show your partners, right? Because we've learned that we can use a math drawing to solve a problem also, right? Okay, we've learned we can use fingers, we can use drawings, okay? So look what he did. He wrote one dot to show one, and over here he made one, two, three, four. So he still has one and four, is five, and he showed his five over here. Then he did the next one, and he made two dots, and then three, three. and what is it equal? Five wow. still. Very good, so that is still, that's another way that you could solve that problem, right? Very good, I'm gonna keep seeing if I can find some other people that have done an awesome job this morning. Good job, go ahead and keep on working. Can you make another partner still? Okay, show me. What would you do? Good, so how would you write your equation now? I like that one. You look at that. Mm -hmm. Five equals two and three. And how many do you have here? That says three. What do you need to fix? Good. Can I show yours real quick? Can we show yours? Can you bring your math drawing up here? Go ahead, take it. I want to show you something that I see Jose doing. Because Jose did something that was very smart too. Look at where Jose put his five. He put his five equals at the beginning of his equation, didn't he? He put five equals three plus two. Is that still the same thing as if I would have done 
3 plus 2 equals 5. Is that the same thing? Yes. yes, it is, right? So we've learned that we can put the 5 on either side. It's that equal sign that tells us, okay, that both sides have to have the same amount. Good job. Okay, see if you can show me, finish showing me all your partners. What did you do? I did, I did two right here, two right here, and one up here. Wow, that is awesome job. I didn't even think about that. Do you want to share with everybody how you did yours? Okay, can you take yours on up? Jamonte came up with even a different way to solve his. Okay, let's look at Jamonte. Now, Mom said, right, we only had two shelves. Did Jamonte use his two shelves? Yes, but let's look how he wrote his equation up here. Can you tell them in a nice, loud voice how you solved yours? I put two, uh, I put two down here and two up here and one up here. And so how did you write your equation? Two plus two plus two. One. One equals five. Very good. He did 2 plus 2 plus 1 equals 5. And then we could make a math drawing to even make sure that that equaled 5, right? So I could prove it by showing 1, 2. How many dots would I put here? 2. 2. How many would I put here? 1. So let's count and find out if this is still 5. Ready? Wow, so he still got five doing it that way, didn't he? Excellent job, very good. Keep on working. Okay, I like what I see. Xavier, can you tell everybody, how did you put your bears up on the shelves? I put, uh, right here, and I put zero right here, and I wrote it. Good, can you show me where you wrote your equation to show that? Right here. Down here? And what would you write? Five plus zero. Equals? Oh, five. Very good. So look how he solved his. He did, did I say that you had to put them on two shelves? No. No. So he put all five of them because maybe he wanted to save some room on his other shelves for some other good food, right? So Xavier put all five of them up on one shelf and zero on the bottom. Does that still get us a partner of five? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, very good. You guys worked very hard this morning on having to solve my problems and on how to break apart those numbers, okay? So you guys did an excellent job this morning of solving your numbers, uh, your problems, and then talking to each other and telling each other how you solved things and what you did.